What's going on guys? Hey, I'm making a video. What's going on guys? So today I am gonna be going to go get some more yellow foots. So this is my yellow foot enclosure right now. And they're actually not gonna be staying in here. This is gonna be probably for like another month because I got them this enclosure, um, which is a lot bigger back there and has a lot of plants. It's more tropical, which is what they need. Um, I wanna let it grow out more so that it's more uh, grown before they start putting in here. Cause if I put them in there now, the grass is gonna die instantly. Um, so I have five of these guys. There's one, two, three, four. The other one might be behind the AC or it might have gotten off because they do escape a lot. Let's see. Yep, the other one's probably walking around somewhere in here with the Sokatas, but that's not a big deal. So right now, um, I went to this pet shop and I think I saw either two males and one female or one female and two males. I saw one that had a concave bottom, but she had a small tail. Um, I know that my red foots, the females have a concave bottom as well. But for the yellow foots, I've noticed that all my females have a flat bottom and their tails are pretty big. Even for the females, the females, red foots have a bigger tail than my male, um, so, uh, not so called as red foots. So let's see. I'm going to check now uh, when I get back. But I don't know if they're male. I, I want to get more males anyways because I only have one male right now and five females. And I want to get um, one or two more males so that that will increase fertility in the group all right so here are the new tortoises one female red foot one male yellow foot and then two um one of them might be a female one of them might be a male i'll show you now when i get them to my house all right so here they are this is the female uh red foot i'm gonna put it in with the other group right now i'm in my friend's house and i'm probably i'm like almost 100 percent sure these guys are all wild caught even the red foot but i don't know we will see or well i guess there's no way of seeing that but that's what i think the other ones are in here Hello. all right so here's the new red foot put it in the enclosure with the, all the other ones let me show you them real quick these are some of my red foots here in their hide i have 21 of these guys now there's more over here and there's a bella the Colombian yellow foot or not yellow foot Colombian red foot she's an, a red foot but she's all yellow instead of red which is pretty cool so I got these 21 adults and then I have my and then I have my baby marbled at my house all right so this is the one I was a little confused about because you can see concave bottom but the tail isn't too big so let's see this one that's about the same size how the tail looks So you can see the tail is about the same size and this one's a female weird stuff but whatever i don't care if it's a male or a female. that's the male for sure look at this guy he's huge let me show you let me see long tail concave bottom this one's going straight into the water there he is coming out of the water now the others are walking around this one's still a little bit shy and these guys are all pretty shy not all of them but a couple of them that one i mean he's walking around not sure if he's shy or not this one's been walking around he gets he lets me let me see if i can pet him he's already like oh what is this guy doing all right so this guy's a little bit less shy than the others the others would have put his head away so this is the male and that's the male over there pretty cool i really like these guys and like i've mentioned in my previous videos um, I got these guys mostly as pets because I'm not going to get my hopes up for breeding them because I know they're very hard to breed. A lot of people don't even get eggs and sometimes if they do, or most of the times if they do, they're infertile. So we'll see. I do want to breed them, but I'm not, uh, that's not why I'm getting them because I know that they're going to be hard to produce eggs, but it is what it is. You know, these guys are just really cool and I really like them. All right, so here is the other red foot or yellow foot I keep getting the names confused that keeps escaping oh this is my big female let me show you her shell because she has a really nice one look at her shell she has the prettiest shell out of all of them i think in my opinion and all these guys are wild caught yellow foots aren't some uh a species that are very commonly bred because of how hard they are to breed and i don't think i've ever seen a captive born adult for sale i've only seen um, babies that are captive born and adults that are wild caught. 
and look at that the brand new one's already eating Missouri that's perfect because um, usually the wild ones aren't too nice towards Missouri I have two or three of them that are actually eating it right now and it has a strong smell so that's good they like it and they've been eating they've all been eating um, except maybe the one that's in the corner over there but all the other ones I've, they've been eating a lot of cactus bananas grass Missouri um, but the female in the corner the first ones that I got the, the I got one male and one female the one female is really shy uh, she's probably been eating weeds and stuff when I'm not paying attention but at least the things that I've fed she has not been eating I think that we might have just found out what his gender is. Let's see if he does anything else. Or she. I don't know, it looks a little sus. I've never seen these guys mate before, so I don't know their ritual or anything, because I know they all have a ritual, the sulcata. The sulcatas, they run around each other. The redfoots, they shake their heads back and forth. Let's see what's going on here no way what is he doing maybe he's not I don't know this one is very orange and look at that super long neck that this guy has so yeah I'm pretty sure this one's a male all right, so I don't know, this guy might not have the right strategy on this, but at least he's trying, so that's a good thing. Let me show you the enclosure I've been working on for them. All right, so you can see right here, put in some fresh grass and put in some ferns. I still haven't finished. I wanna get all those rocks out. I wanna put in some, I'm gonna throw seeds in here for some clovers. And I wanna get a lot more plants in here to make it more tropical. I put that one in, which is really nice. And some of these smaller ones, which are gonna be growing. Um, and these get really big, they get nice and bushy. So I wanna get another couple more, put maybe one there, one over here, and that will probably be it. And take out all these rocks that were deep underground. That's from when I was digging the plant over there. But uh, this is gonna be their future enclosure. I'm making a video on this, on how this enclosure evolves. So this will probably be, depending when I finish, it'll be maybe a couple weeks to a month. All right, so now it looks like he's interested in the males. So, I don't know, this guy goes both ways, I guess. I don't really know if he's trying to mate or not. He's just been getting on top of them and not doing anything like that, look. I don't know what he's trying to do. He just keeps climbing them. The other ones are over there eating the... Well, that one's eating some grass and the other ones are eating Missouri. I hear crunching, so... And of course, the sulcata that I got the other day, too. So the yellow foots are mating. That's pretty good. I don't know if you guys could hear me right because I have my AirPods on. And I had it in my hands. But this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get some more males so that it could increase some competition. Let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five. So there's another one back there. There's two back there. So that means there's only one that escaped right now. And it's the same one. She always likes to either go back here or she likes to go in here. It's not I'm not sure where they are so here's the other female right next to Nick's and it's the same one that's always escaping there we go they got a little hitch that you could just grab onto right there really easily but obviously I don't want to carry her upside down I've seen a lot of people do it like that though there we go and that guy's still going at it over there. That's awesome. This is the biggest male. 
So hopefully we might get some fertile eggs and eventually we'll get some babies. All right, it's confirmed. It's a male. And these guys were going crazy. I don't know. I think most of them escaped actually. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So two or the other ones are behind the AC. But the other two were, or not the other two, but this one and the other male that I brought today, the really big one, have been breeding all day since they got here. So that's perfect. All right, so my phone's acting up and it looks like my head is floating. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think my phone's acting up. Anyways. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a suggestion for a future video in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.